Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today I'm actually showing off a CV replay. One I don't normally do because I would say I'm very mediocre at CV. But it is extremely relevant because yesterday they actually just released the upcoming CV rework uh, that they are obviously going to eventually implement into this game and it's dramatically changing gonna change how CV is going to be played instead of an RTS version and I will link the video down below so if you guys haven't seen it you can go watch it and then come back please come back so CVs are being reworked they're no longer going to be a RTS type where it does require on multitasking and actions per minute APM and now it's going to be in fact a an action-esque version of CV where you can actually fly the squadrons together. It's a cool idea. Now of course it's always uh, good to say it's a work in progress. And also let's go ahead and kind of show off. I am joined but with no game in the Atlanta and Sweet in the Sims. I am a hero versus a ranger uh, playing mostly at tier 6. So CVs. Let's talk about CVs. So yes, um, CVs are getting reworked. And let's 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 face it, CVs kind of need a rework. Um, it usually comes down to either one factor, either the player is not particularly good, uh, struggles, uh, especially if they're uh, outplayed by a CV player who is far more competent. I will more than willingly say that I'm only semi decent uh, with CVs. I'm not particularly fantastic, but. Now CVs are switching from the RTS to an actual um, action base where you control entire squadrons together. And how it works is, uh, I believe it's 9 or 10 planes in a squadron and you can actually uh, drop off, like say, there's three different weapons types. There's torps, die bombers, and then uh, dumb rocket. Uh, every time you go in for an attack, uh, three planes of the squadron go to actually attack. So their idea behind that is to kind of disperse the alpha strike damage instead of a uh, Taiho or a Hakuryu going for a strike against a uh, battleship or a cruiser and landing, you know, uh, six to 12 torpedoes on a target and just outright wrecking that player. Now it's more kind of condensed down. So every time a squadron goes in to attack, they only use three until either you lose the entire squadron or you uh, use it all. And then obviously it goes back to the carrier. And now the planes are in fact um, infinite. Uh, that's another ma major factor is CVs, especially low tier CVs, if they lose all their planes, there's nothing else they can do. They're just uh, essentially points available for the enemy team to gain if they were able to catch up to it. So huge difference there is now CVs no longer can be deplaned. Um, there is apparently supposed to be uh, some not nerfs but penalties if you lose your entire squadron. Another thing is you won't have all your planes out at once as in the current uh, meta I guess current core gameplay of this CV is as you can see I have die bombers torpedo planes and fighters all at once but instead is going to be one particular attacking group and apparently whenever you want to switch you can recall your group and bring out a new weapon type to the field now fighters are no longer apparently going to be that big of a thing for CVs. Uh, they can be spawned in and they will be patrolling a certain sector, something like that. So huge difference there. I'm actually very curious. Now once again this is work in progress. Uh, this obviously will be changing. Uh, it's currently I believe in alpha and they are eventually going to get super testers in and then eventually community contributors uh, to test out all this. So huge difference there and once again I'm not a particularly great CV player but I, I would say I'm semi-capable 
So CVs, yeah, major difference in the abilities uh, on what they can do. Uh, major influence, major change is the fact that they aren't going to be as good at spotting enemy ships as they are now. As right now you can devote like a fighter group to try to spot and I will be doing this in this battle because our team well let's just say our team kinda flops to say the very least so something to keep in mind is that fact that in the future CVs probably aren't gonna be the all-seeing eye as they are now and that's good and bad like coming from say when I'm playing destroyers I hate seeing CVs because they really do mess up your ability to do your job to spot to cause damage with your torpedoes so huge issue there for the fact that now destroyers are gonna gain a little bit of a benefit because of the lack of planes in the air so huge benefit for the destroyers and gonna cause maybe some slight issue uh, with the fact that obviously they're not gonna be available to actually provide seeing uh, enemy targets. Now I will have to say that Akatsuki is gonna be a major problem in the future. I'm gonna point that out. Keep in mind he's 80 points of health. Like one good hit from a ship would kill him. But fortunately for me when playing this battle, I'm actually in a good advantage. I think I actually had a slight skill difference uh, compared to this enemy CV, uh, which is extremely beneficial. And once again, keep in mind, I'm not the most amazing player, but at the moment, we are losing this battle. Uh, we have six ships versus their, let's see, uh, nine ships. So... Uh, three two to three and right here this is this uh, drop right here on the Congo I misjudged it actually caused the Congo to turn in he does eat one torp actually no he eats no torps for me however he does actually turn to where he turns broadside to the Sims torps which is uh, played by sweet and actually eats a face full of torpedoes from sweet potato there so he does obviously take a lot of damage and hopefully we're gonna try to knock him out bring in my dive bombers and do get a couple fires so he is gonna burn down relatively quickly which is gonna prove extremely beneficial for us there we go our very first kill of the game and at the moment there's only one other ship that's not in this division and that is that battleship all the way up north this Conag versus this New Mexico and things are going to get a little bit dicey. Fortunately, it looks like Sweet is going to try to help out with this CV. Now, keep in mind, Sweet is running a Sims, and the Sims actually has really good AA. And just watch how quickly these planes just disappear under the Sims AA fire, which is another thing, is the AA on the ships are going to be a little bit different. From my understanding from watching the live stream yesterday was the fact that you switch sides something like along lines instead of doing the control uh, clicking and clicking on a enemy plane squadron you switch sides so you can have main focus on your starboard side or main focus on your port side and that's how you get your AA guns firing a little bit more heavily which is interesting I'm very curious how that's going to be implemented. I'm curious uh, how well that's actually going to work out. But, I mean, at the moment for this battle, you can see it's us three versus uh, the CV, a battleship, two cruisers, and a destroyer, which is that pesky Akat. Now, I make a few mistakes, and I am going to be kicking myself later on for these mistakes, and it is going to really prove... A major major issue for us and that is going to be the enemy destroyer the enemy destroyer keep in mind is the Akat and we saw him sitting at about 80 points of health now we do kind of know where he is we believe he's in the southeast corner that's why I'm actually bringing my 
fighter squadron and I do apologize I don't think I can take control of the, there we go now I can actually take control of the camera because currently I'm actually bringing my tort planes up here to take care of this October Revolution who might be trying to pincher us so that's where my main focus is right now so at the moment no game is pushing out once again, don't know where this hat cat is. I am trying to patrol with my fighter groups, trying to spot him if possible, but it is a not cat and it has a really low detect. And this is a major thing, is CVs are good at spotting. Like, they are really good at spotting. And now with this rework is going to be a major day, uh, major change to it. And right now I'm actually dropping on this October Revolution. Get pretty good hit four torpedoes finally get a flood so I'm probably going to lose a few torp planes it does look like the enemy CV is strafing and that's another thing I need to work on is strafing you will actually see me doing a semi decent job but I think it really came down to the fact that this enemy CV uh, didn't strafe that much like right now he should be uh, trying to strafe my dive bombers, which I am trying to bring in my dive bombers to try to get some fires on this October Revolution because he did actually take a flood. There we go, got two fires on the October Revolution, and I actually kind of forget that he does, in fact, actually have a really good damage control. So, major thing about the fact of CVs, and unfortunately, we lost no game. Uh, to a enemy destroyer is the fact that we're no longer CVs aren't going to be spotting as much as they're you know they usually are once again I'm trying to spot this enemy DD and I think I misjudge uh, because I'm currently trying to multitask but we do spot the uh, snipe that's coming in and just this this is this goes to show how devastating enemy strike is or sorry how devastating a strafe is just watch how quickly his planes just melt away uh, all his tour planes are now gone coming back around to get the dive bombers that are coming in and this and playing CV just really requires a lot of multitasking 20 planes right there 20 planes right there all gone all right so at the moment it is two versus five, uh, a Sims and a Hiryu versus October Revolution, Akat, Leander, or sorry, Emerald, Pensacola, and a Ranger. So things aren't looking very well for us. Fortunately, I believe Sweet actually lets me know that the October Revolution is in fact still alive. He actually survived. Um, so I'm actually going to bring my torpedo planes up north to try to get a strike on but the enemy CV is still there with his fighters planning on trying to intercept and still do my very best to try to at least prevent him from attacking my dive bombers and torpedo planes and keep in mind I, I have a decent amount I still have three torpedo planes left five dive bombers and three fighters I don't know how much of the enemy ranger but considering I just shot down 23, I believe Sweet actually has about 13 by the end of this battle. So he has, he's going to be very much hurting on the number of planes. And one other thing is, uh, Sweet actually really wanted me to point this out. Sweet is about half health. This Pensacola, when Sweet actually opened up, was full health. Just watch how... <laughs> how quickly this Pensacola is gonna actually go down I, I don't do anything because it is a Pensacola it does have defensive fire and better not lose my planes so right now I'm actually sending my planes up north to take care of this October Revolution one thing is I probably should be using my fighters to scout try to spot the enemy destroyer which is still not around and I'm actually very curious why that destroyer did not try to cap us. I don't know if he just was concerned the fact that I am a CV and CVs can at least try to spot him. But we take out the October Revolution with one torpedo squadron. Uh, now I'm bringing down the others to try to help out. 
main focus for me right now is going to be actually the Emerald. Uh, I probably could have gone after the CV, but at the exact same time, it is going to prove beneficial for Sweet if I can take out a enemy cruiser because there's about 4 minutes and 45 seconds left on this match and the enemy team is about 200 and some points ahead of us and I really probably just should have tried to focus down the enemy CV because I think sweet probably should be fine and here's my error right here is I'm not getting my squadron of fighters over to protect my friendly and this is where I consider my major error uh, because he really does need assistance to try to defend himself against the enemy CV and here's my other issue is I rush this job this Akatsuki is very low in health and my drop goes a little awry and his module in fact eats the damage and this Akat is going to be alive now right now I should actually keep my die bomber one of my die bombers on top of this Akat just fly it around keep him spotted so I know where he is because not knowing where he is is going to prove a major pain for us major issue but right now in fact that Sweet actually used his defensive AA so it's on cooldown and he used it against a torpedo uh, squadron and this is going to prove a major problem for us and getting a nice strafe on the enemy squadron uh, do knock out at least half his squadron and going back and forth with strafes getting some amount of plane shot down and once again I should have been keeping an eye on this hat cat because not knowing where he is is going to prove really disadvantage towards us and also right here is where things are definitely going to go awry unfortunately sweet is going to be taking some dive bombs and there we go Unfortunately, we've just lost Sweet. All that's left is just me. And I'm currently gonna have to try to win this as much as possible. Do get a good number of planes shot down. It looks like he actually did separate his dive bombers, uh, shoot down eight more planes there. So, very, very nice. But at the moment, the enemy team is going to win this because they just have the point advantage might get the emerald that's at least my hope right now is taking out down the emerald but going back to the cv rework i like it but at the exact same time i'm very curious how they're going to balance it uh because one point they actually did make is the fact that it's still a work in progress uh all the damage is still being worked on so nothing set in stone at the moment. I actually do a cross drop on this emerald. Really mess up there. That's a huge mess up. But we actually get a hit, cause flooding. This emerald's gonna go down. And right now, what I should have been doing, actually what I should have been doing, at least at the five minute mark, is pushing towards their cap and trying to at least maybe cap the enemy team. But I'm desperately trying to find the enemy destroyer. I'm sending my dive bombers down. I'm trying to deal, still deal with his fighters, but there's just not enough time. If I could get the enemy destroyer, I might be able to get us closer to uh, being able to either win or get a draw. Actually, I don't know if that would even be possible. But with 50 seconds left on this match, there's not much I can do. Um, so let me just say that I'm I'm looking forward to it. It is going to be dramatically different considering this has been the style of CV play uh, for since the you know start of World of Warships. It's it's definitely going to be dramatically different. Players are going to be upset, throw hissy fits, but CVs needed a rework. And this is a, a great way to actually test this out, see if this works. And I'm excited for it because I, th I like CVs. I like the idea of CVs, especially considering, you know, CVs were a prominent role in World War II. Um, they actually dramatically changed how naval combat was done uh, with the fact that 
airplanes actually took out the Yamato and stuff like that. But unfortunately for us, we are just not going to win. So this is going to be it for this video, but let me know what you guys think about this rework. Uh, give me your ideas and thoughts and opinions. I'm curious, um, especially like I said, I'm not a CV player. I'm not amazing. Uh, I know there's people out there that are more capable. I'm curious what everyone else thinks about this. Um, I'm curious how it's going to you know, pan out. So hopefully things will get maybe a little bit better, uh, especially with the factor of CVs. But anyways, this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.